So this principle of Sri Krishna is so important that at the state, as we fall in the Vishuddhi Chakra, we become complete. In the sense that when the Sastra is opened out for you and you start feeling the vibrations, you are not yet fully complete. If you were just complete, then it would have been a, an end of your evolution. Because at that stage, if you had finished it, then there was no need to have Sahaja But actually it means that once the Sastrara is opened out, then you have to come down to your Vishuddhi Chakra. That means to your collective. If it is not working on your Vishuddhi Chakra, the enlightenment on Vishuddhi Chakra, you cannot feel the vibrations. As you saw yesterday, the artist started playing in a very new dimension. It's not that only they got awakening of the Kundalini. The awakening of the Kundalini was there, no doubt, but it had to come down to their Vishuddhi Chakra. If I could not have brought it back to their Vishuddhi Chakra, their hands would not have moved that fast. They would have never felt the sweetness, the Madhurya of Sri Krishna, and they would not have manifested it. So all that is expressed through your fingers and hands achieves that new awareness of creating the madhurya, the sweetness. In your art, in your music, in your gestures, in every way your hands are very important. But Vishuddhi Chakra also plays part, as you know, on the sixteen chakras or the subplexuses which look after our face, our ears, nose, eyes, neck, all these things are looked after by Vishuddhi Chakra. As a result also you can become great actors, you can have eyes which are innocent, you can have a skin which is shining, you can have ears which can hear the Divine music, you can have a nose, which shows your dignity. In the same way, your whole facial expression changes. If you are a very harsh person and a hot-tempered person and you have harshness on your face, or else if you are like a beggar all the time or you are crying all the time, weeping, your face looks so miserable, everything changes and comes into the center where you look beautiful, you look attractive in the divine way and also you get a very sweet countenance. Also the teeth and the tongue are looked after by Vishuddhi Chakra. So your teeth, uh, which are in trouble, get cured. You sometimes, as I told you, I have never been to a dentist all my life. So you can imagine that you don't have to go to the dentist anymore if you have your Vishuddhi Chakra all right. <coughs> then also your tongue improves. For example, some people are very sarcastic by temperament. They cannot say something sweetly. All the time they are sarcastic, saying sarcastic things. Some people have a habit of abusive, language. Some people are extremely um, beggarish type, all the time talking in a very beggarish manner. There's no dignity, there's no sweetness and there is no self-confidence for some people. Some people even stammer. Some people cannot stand on the stage and give a lecture. All these things drop out as soon as your Vishuddhi Chakra improves. This is only outward. This is the outward manifestation of the Vishuddhi Chakra's improvement within yourself through the awakening of Sri Krishna on Vishuddhi Chakra. But what happens really is that inside you, you become a witness. 
You become a witness in the sense that all that is disturbing, all that is troubling you, all that is a problem, you just start watching it. You start witnessing it, you start seeing it and you do not get disturbed. That seeing, that witnessing state has a tremendous power. Whatever you see without thinking, your problems get solved. Any problem you have, once you get this witness state, what you call tatastha, means you are standing on the shores and watching the waves to move, then you know how to solve the problems. So your witness state has to be developed and sometimes I have seen people have to go through little difficulties to develop that witness state. This is very important that once the Kundalini starts supplying you from uh, your sastrara downward, moving on your uh, chakras and enriching your different chakras on the Vishuddhi chakra, when it has to stay, it really tries to uh, little bit take you through turmoils. And you start thinking that, see, now my life was so blissful, I had so many blessings and now what has happened? But this is the time when you should become tatastha, means you should become a witness. If you become a witness, everything improves. For example, you are, say, a person who is working in some place. As soon as you become a witness, you see, your attention goes inside and you start watching things from inside out. As a result, you see exactly what's wrong where. And as you have got the power of witnessing, with that power you get over the problems that you have. Problems get solved very easily if you know how to witness the whole situation than to get involved into it. And this is the best state which we call as Sakshi Swarupatva, which you achieve when the Kundalini comes up and the connection is established and the Divine Ray starts following through that and enriches your Vishuddhi chakra. Now the name of Sri Krishna has come from the word Krishi, meaning the ploughing, ploughing of the soil for planting the crops. Now He is the one who has done the ploughing for us in the sense that He has created us in such a manner that when the sprouting has to be done, you are already ready for it. But as it is, we human beings spoil our Vishuddhi chakra by many wrong things, as you have seen that we smoke, or uh, we take drugs, or we take tobaccos and all that, so our Vishuddhi chakra goes out. On top of that, if you are a person who doesn't talk at all, or who talks too much, or who shouts and screams, and who shows temper, raises his voices, also spoils his Vishuddhi chakra. So the first thing is that in your using the Vishuddhi chakra, you have to remember, it is to be used for sweetness, for madhur. If you want to say something to someone, try to say something that is sweet and nice. Practice it. In certain places I have seen that people are used to a kind of a talk and sometimes they cannot talk in the fashion that is sweet. For them it is adharma as if to talk sweetly to someone. They only believe that you must really talk in a manner that will hurt others. So hurting anybody is not in the dharma of Sri Krishna. 